Good morning, guys. Thanks for tuning in to the show. We have a lot of cool stuff to show you. I'm going to go and run through the table and show you what's available. But thank you for being a part of our virtual blade vault. Uh, you know, with the blade show being canceled, we have a bunch of knives that we were going to take to the blade show, but we're going to bring them to you today virtually. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, we got some patches. We have some straps here. Check out that. We got a strop bat. We got a strap strop. And there's a church key. Church keys, you know what those are good for. They can open your favorite beverage. They can do a flint and steel and also a fire steel rod. So those are very, very cool. Oh, and speaking of fire steels, look here. We got some ferro rods ready to go. Multiple different colors. If you'd like something unique, man, call the shop and, and we'll get that taken care of for you. Okay, moving on. We have some t-shirts available. How do you know what size and what color? Just ask the guys when you call in and we will look through them and see if we can find something. We got some green, we got some gray. I believe we have some of the black t-shirts left uh, with different color logos on them. So yeah, we're good to go. Oh, love the orange hats. These are one of my favorites. We have a few of these still in, on hand. What a nice mess back on them. Some more patches. The LTWK belt buckle. Yes, it is a real belt buckle. I do have one of these. I made for myself and for my dad years ago. I love these things. They're, they're pretty cool. And some antler stands. Sammy spent some time this week getting some of our elk antler process. Turn them into stands for your favorite displays, man. So we got bags of stands available. Also, this tool, a fire starting setup with magnesium, ferro rod. Really cool thing. We got about four of these things left. So check them out. And of course, the Swedish danglers. You gotta love those things. They can turn a regular old hip sheath or anything into a dangler because of the nice little carabiner here at the end of them. So that's something to look forward to. Okay, here are some of our next gens. Number one through eight are next gens. Starting with number one, there, check them out. Starting with number one, we have a mountain finish flat grind in a rustic brown. Number three looks like a twist in coyote. Oh yeah, very cool piece uh, in a saber grind. Another flat grind in snakeskin. What a great looking knife that is. Number five is, um, that is the burlap. Very cool piece. Number six, another snakeskin one, this time with thick red liners. Look at that. Those things are really, really cool. Number seven is a saber grind in the rustic brown, and that has a double set of liners in it making this whole, this knife very unique. Look at that, that is a cool setup. Then at the bottom, number eight, uh, this is linen cotton wood, wood. Very interesting with a black liner. This is a cool color, I'm, I'm starting to dig this. I'm gonna have to see this on some other things. Going on to number 11, that's one of our small swoops. It's actually the only small swoop we have. Polished burlap with orange liners. Oh, look at that, a fire steel kind of similar. Yeah, that's kind of cool, if you call you might, I want to get that whole set. Number 12 is a large northern hunter with a two-tone polished green. And look at that with the bright green or toxic liners. Very, very cool. Number 13 is red burlap with natural liners. Red and natural. What a great combination together. It's almost like that red draws out the, the red tones in that natural, doesn't it? It's, mm -hmm. it's just like a real cool thing. So that's number 13. The copper pins tie in nicely. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, missed the copper pins. Very nice. Uh, K13, look at this. It's got the split bolster. This one is in the Tiffany blue. It's got white liners and, and just an interesting, like a dull green. It's just, it all comes together very, very nice. And it's on an antler stand. Look at that. Isn't that kind of sweet? K13. Don't forget about that one. And moving on to 14 is a small northern hunter in a saber grind with a polished green. Basic, but just what a great knife this is. Number 15. It is a JX3 in, in a dark rustic brown. Very cool. Almost red tones to that one. Number 16. Uh, those are black micarta. Those are bushcrafters. It has a blue liner, 16 and 17. Now the difference in uh, these two knives are the, you have the saber grind on number 16 and a flat grind on number 17. So if you're looking for a set of cool knives for somebody, man, right there, look at that. Christmas is coming, so I've heard. You know, it's going to be a while, but it'll get here. And we have a interesting twist in this green and orange. I like the tone of that green. I, when we first got that in sheets, I was like, man, that's just a little bit of an off green OD thing with that orange. What a great tie-in, number 18. 
Number 19 is your um, HC, a Bushcrafter HC, with a satin finish or a Scotch Bright finish on the black paper with aluminum pins. What a great looking knife. Number 20, Bushcrafter Mark II, so that's the bigger Bushcrafter, polished black paper with aluminum pins. Great looking piece. 21, polished Bushcrafter Mark II in Saber. The other one's in flat. This one's in Saber with an antique. I believe is what mm -hmm. you told me, right? Antique natural micarta with the copper. Wow, just wow. Number 22, right here, we've got the Bushcrafter in the camo. Just a very simple camo pattern. What a good looking knife. Look at the stripes on that. Just really, really cool. Moving on to 23, here is a Genesis Saber in the red, I believe, maple two-tone, right? Mm -hmm with a natural liner. Look at that. Is that a black liner in there too? No. Or, no, that's just the way that finishes up. How cool is that? That is sweet. 23. That's number 23. Number 24. That is Koa, I believe, right? Yes, sir. Koa with the white liners. Another great looking knife. Number 25. But now we're getting into uh, the one, two, we have two Gen 5s on the table. One in a Sabre, which is the standard black. Very, very clean. Number 26 is a flat grind mountain finish. And check it, got the yellow liners in it. So that is a unique for sure. Super Gen rare to 5. see a Gen 5 in flat. Yeah, we don't do any uh, Gen 5s flat, so that's one. Uh, this is the Illuminous, number 27. What a clean knife designed by our buddy Spin out at JRE. Great little knife. Just clean as heck, good lines on this thing. Number 28 and 29 are both Gary Wine's Bush Crafters. And they are almost, I guess you would say, a set, right? In a sense, because you got the maple with uh, natural thick liners on, on these. Again, if you're looking for, hey, I want to get this for somebody, check this out. Awesomeness right there. Okay, number 30 is a snake skin, not snake skin, python with orange liners, um, GNS. What a great looking knife. I love the thick orange liners on that. You won't be losing that in the woods. Number 31 is a... Oh, pa maple paper, maple paper. Uh, again, Saber Ground GNS. GNS is one of the most popular knives that we make. And this one has awesome the red, oh, red yeah, yeah. liners. Red, red, look at that, very, very clean, very clean. Number 32, pretty much a standard rustic brown G uh, GNS in uh, Scandi. In Scandi, geez, I'm messing my words up here. Clean knife, great woods knife right there. Number 34, again, a Scandi GNS. In the standard, is that green? Yep. Yeah, just in a, in a regular green. What a great little knife, man. If you're looking for something stock, you want to hit that around, bum in the woods, man. Those are your, your winners right there. Okay, number 35 is a modified little muck. It almost has a sheep's foot kind of blade on it. I like this when I put it together. When I come past my station, I was like, yeah, I like that point on that. This is in the maple paper? Nope, cottonwood, cottonwood, cottonwood linen sorry. with the black liners. Okay, cottonwood linen, got the black liners on that. Okay, now we got another set of twinsies here. 36 and 37 are both the um, Little Mucks in the green black micarta that is polished. Very cool pieces. And then here we have two more, both uh, Saber Ground Little Mucks with polished green and. That's moving on to our Tack Mucks. And we have three of them with the false clip on the front of them. Number 40 has uh, the gray black mountain finish G10. Number 42 has a polished black paper on it. Number 43 has a polished uh, python, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah polished python on that. What, great, what a great knife. Look at those things. Okay, number 45, 6, 7, and 8 are all Jesmix. Uh, the first one, number 45, is in a burlap. Very nice piece. The 46 is in a green 47 and 48 are both red mountain finish. Now, the Jesmix were um, designed by Chris Tanner of Prepared Mind, so you can see that his logo is on one side. And the two ours. red ones are CPM3V. Oh, okay, so these are 01. Sorry about that. These are both in 01. These are in CPM3V, so if you guys are looking for some 3V stuff, there's your opportunity. Okay, moving on to T1 and T2. Those are both in Kydex, and one of them is a next gen. Check this out with a carbon fiber overlay. Really digging, it's got our slide lock on it. And then this is a modified Genesis, in a sense, with a Scandi grind. Simple package. If you're looking for a nice woods knife, man, either one of these Kydex rigs are right up your alley. 
Okay, number 50 is one of our GP mediums in the blue maple two-tone. With the well, gray liners. Oh, does that have gray liners on it? Yes, it does. Thick gray mm -hmm. liners. Awesome. That is a cool piece. Again, on an antler stand. Don't forget about the antler stands, man. We got bags of them. They're very cool pieces. Uh, this is a small, modified next-gen flat grind. Got a uh, full mountain finish on it. And a thinner handle. And a thinner handle. Number 54 is a modded spear point Scandi. Just, an, in, just a generous handle on that. Just kind of contoured. Very cool piece. 56. Now this piece of steel is from when we were doing some competition cutters. So it is some really cool Duratec steel. It is um, natural G10 on that one. And it is polished. This is a really cool knife. If you're familiar with that steel, you may want to get this piece. Okay, and 57 is the Traveler, which is one of our kitchen sets in burlap. Look at that. What a great knife. Thin, holds the hand well. And number 58 is the Small Powder, also in burlap. Nice, generous handle. These are great for the kitchen. You're going to love these things. Okay, 60 through 65 are all of our camp kitchen knives. We put a bunch of these together. Again, remember, we were planning on going to Atlanta for the Blade Show, and we sell a lot of these camp kitchen knives, so we had a few of these things put together. So let's start right at the top with number 60. It has black and orange and also has a little bit of twist going on. What a great-looking camp kitchen knife. 61 is black with orange liners and a matte finish. 62 is a polished two-tone uh, green. Yeah, the green black, what a great looking knife. 63 is natural and it has a mid-bodied black liner. Can you see that? You can see it here on a thumb scallop, how cool that works out. That is awesome. Number 64 is a two-tone green? Green that, black. Yeah, green black. You can see it again in the thumb scallop, real, real good. 65 is the awesome OD green with the orange liners. I like this thing a lot. Now we do have one full kitchen set. That comes with the cutting board. You got your extra bag and it comes with the Blue Ridge Overland Gear zip up bag so you can take it with you. It's got all the spots for all four knives. It has a complete kit. That's number 67. If you guys are professional chefs, amateur chefs, like Sam kind of Scottle kind of guys, you are gonna dig number 67. 67 is for you. Okay, number 68 through 75 are all exposed tang frontier first. Something that uh, Nick put together and they're really cool pieces. We got some interest in the last show that we did. So we said, hey, let's put a run of these together. 68 is a bone handled frontier first exposed tang. 70, number 70 is a red uh, burlap nice piece number 71 is a black and burlap setup that has a twist pattern to it number 72 is a twist pattern as well in the standard burlap really nice piece. that's old coffee bags you can actually see some of the blue printing on it oh still. right on yeah i like that stuff number 73 is a mountain finished black canvas looks like right yeah yeah, yeah kind of cool 74 is blue G10. There's that blue knife. Everyone says, hey, got any blue knives? There it is, guys. Number 75 is an exposed tang in the camo. How cool is that little piece? Okay, 76 through 85 are all Patriots. Yeah, man, look at that. Cool Patriots laying on the table. So let's give you a little close-up of each one. Look at that. Nice, nice, nice. 76. Now this 76, 77, 78 are bone handled. Now the difference is 330 seconds thick on 76. A heavy, look at that, on 77. Number 78 is 1 8 standard. So you have three different thicknesses there. Those are so cool. Okay, number 79 through number 79, 80, and 81 all have thumb jimping on the back of them. Can you see that? Yeah, they got all a little bit of file work on them. Now they're all the same color. So we have the black green two-tone on 79, on number 80, and on number 81. Awesome, awesome pieces. Okay, number 82 is that, ah, I still love this stuff, the green with the orange. Wow, wow, wow. 82 is set up with the green and orange G10. 83, 4, and 5 are all striped snakeskin. This is such a cool color. I don't even know if we're gonna get this exactly like this ever again. 
it's one of those things when this is gone, it's gone kind of ideas. Oh, just such a cool knife. That's number 85. Okay, 86. Yep. Okay, number 86 through 90 are all Frontier first. Or I'm sorry, through 92. 86 through 92. If you're looking for a, a price point knife, a little bit of a smaller knife, this is the one. That is the Cottonwood Linen, linen uh, number 86. Number 87 is a Camo Twist G10. Very, very cool. 89 is Bone. What a great piece that is. Look Copper at that. Copper pins on that. Copper pins and bone. Number 90 is uh, natural maple paper, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maple paper. Okay, number 91 is polished black paper. Number 92 is polished black paper, but this is a little bit of a thinner one. This is a real cool piece. Very, very nice. Okay, guys, here is, we have a couple bags here that uh, we've had around for a while. They were kind of prototypes. And these are ways to carry your knives. Check this out. Inside you have the big knife, um, not Velcro, what's that? Elastic. <laughs> elastic. Yeah, they're like, what the heck is that called? The elastic sleeves and then you have a set on this side with a divider to keep the knives from hitting each other. All very and, nicely padded. Oh yeah, this is, these are super awesome. These are from the people that make our soft cases. Check this out. Same thing but on a larger scale now. So these are for all your big knives. So when you're looking to take a trip and hey, I gotta take all my knives, put them in a giant soft case. So number 104 is the small one. Number 103 is the large one. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Remember, when you call the number, the shop number will appear on the screen, just let it ring. We will log your number and we will call you back from one phone whether it might be Ohio, it might be Pennsylvania, West Virginia, it might even be Virginia that looks like it's calling you back. We are not trying to sell you a car warranty or help you get out of your school loan. That's us calling you back. It's a, our guys are here working. But we have to let the phone ring in on the one line. That's all we got. Remember, we're doing the Blade Virtual Vault, kind of like a last minute thing we had to get thrown together. So we're going to do our best. We will call you back. We will do what we can. You can also on Facebook and YouTube, Ask questions directly into the comments section because Mikey keeps his eye on that and he will throw them at me as we go through today. Remember, 12 to 4, we'll be here for your uh, enjoyment. We're going to have a great time together. Look forward to talking to each of you and have a great show. Thanks again. God bless you. Bye.